Hello, fellow future corpses. I am Will Botch, and we are playing again Force God. Uh, last time we were not able to finish it. I couldn't figure it out because I was dumb. Not so much because I was dumb, because I couldn't complete it because I suck. We'll go with that. I believe it's fully capable of being completed. I was just bad at playing. So we're back at it. I want to finish it. I want to see the end because the game looks awesome. I really enjoy it. And I want to see more of the story. Hey, something happened to me. I hope you can track me down. I've moved on. Yeah, like there's so many good things about this. Like the voice acting is really good. I love the scenery, how it looks. All right, by lighting candles, you can get rid of the Wendigo for a while. Which is, unless it's been changed, I saw there was an update. Unless it's been changed, that's sort of a lie. It seems to cancel the chase. So by just lighting them, it is not a protective barrier. It is only, uh, it only temporarily uh, stops them from chasing you. So it just like uh, ends it, he goes away for a few. But I saw there was an update, but I didn't get, didn't get a chance to really check it out. So far, our best tactic is just running from it. Why do all the buildings look so strange? Like there's something so, wrong yeah. with my eyes. I do like the little like uh, indicator to click things. How it says like uh, press le left click, left mouse button. Whatever it says. I do like how that is. How it uh, picks it up. Okay, so. First tier. Wendigo always shows up after a second one's been done. I don't understand what's going on here. I found some crap. It was something bad. I marked it. Now, uh, I'm. Knew that was coming up. Uh. One downfall, though, is when dude is talking on walkie-talkie, you cannot light candles. So you gotta plan it out a little bit. Hey, you're napping on a job. Oh my god. Ooh, is that new? I don't remember him saying that. So yeah, you cannot light candles unless they changed it while your dude is talking. I do have to reorient myself with the map a little bit. But when the butts does not seem to come out unless it's okay. I just went backwards. When the butts does not seem to come out unless you light two torches. But there was an update, so that could have changed. I feel like I'm running back. Oh. Oh yeah, this. Hello? Okay. Okay, hold on. We got a loving memory of Horace Lot. Dearly beloved elder son of Lot of Lot of whatever uh Elizabeth. Okay, it feels like I'm going backwards because I'm used to running the other way. Okay, we successfully found her again. And generally, if you fo seem to follow these stone tunnels, these stone pads, the, these stone brick, damn it, these stone bricks, it will lead you on to the next one. I am just dumb. Brendan, Brendan. It's when you get off the path is uh, where it gets a little bit uh, hard to navigate. Okay, over there is the playground. Let's go look at that since the window is not activated. There are some events I didn't really get to, like areas I didn't really get to look at. Because, uh,. I'd activate it and then it would kill me. I thought that was someone there. But I do really like this game though. 
And I want to explore more of it and progress it. Oh, there's a door right there. I'm stuck on a chair. I don't think I ever noticed this before. Yeah, I've never been here before. Oh, hi. Not a fan of that. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Oh, you give me the chills. Hey, buddy, what's up? How's it going, buddy? Oh, doggo. You can leave. Because, yeah, I've seen... The only other entities I've seen is, well, the Wendigo. I've seen a weird, like, tall white figure that came out of nowhere. I wasn't the Wendigo. Wendigo? Shit, if I get that, I don't know where I'm running to next. Right, okay, it looks like I continue down this way. I think this house is a dead end. Oh, hi, Wendy. Okay. And then, like, a weird, like, a uh, wolf thing that ran across my screen one time, like a big ass wolf. It does seem. Am I still alive? I thought I was dead. It does seem when you die, though, it feels like, unless I'm just taking a weird turn, I, ha I guess so turned around. Okay. Because it feels like, even though it's the same beginning, I feel like I start in a different spot every time. All right, let's go. Okay, we don't want to go down there. And there is a little events that happen. Okay, we that feel like they're traps almost. Excuse me. Oh my god, is she dead? Fucking wolf. Yeah, if we keep running on the stone pat hall, oh, damn it. I guess I don't know how I'm getting so turned around now. It's like before I used to never see this area. And now like I find it every single time. Okay, paving stones, not that, okay. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get all reoriented with this map. I just wish I had a physical copy of the map so I could look at it to figure out the area. Okay, now I'm back on the path again. See, I don't know how I get so turned around. Okay, cool. We found one. That is a dead end. I don't understand what's going on here. I found some crap. It was yeah, I don't think bad. I can light. Yeah, I can't light candles while he's talking. Which is good to know. Oh. Hate that. But the torches, when you light them, do seem to scare them off for a little bit. It does seem to cancel the chase. That's normal. I just marked the second phenomenon. You get caught there on that. A lot of deer here. Something strange is happening. A lot of deer here. Run a circle. We run a circle. It's fine. Just keep following the path. Okay, can't go that way. Okay, this way. 
We're just listening for the uh, press left button. Okay, I'm pressing left click. I guess. That's three. That's a dead end. It feels like it's getting worse every time. I feel bad already. The third one is done. There's supposed to be a path over there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh man, this is the beginning. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Unless I outrun him and he despawns. Cause yeah, for some reason, like you can run back to the beginning, but you can't click those candles. That teaches you to click candles. So because of that, you can't really escape them. You're just fucked. Unless... I really wish you could go back and uh, light those candles. Cause it's so easy to get turned around here. Am I still alive? I thought I was dead. As you can see. All right, I guess this is where we spawned. We spawned next to this tunnel. Call. There is one spot that has like a loud as fuck uh, crow on it. And it gets me every time. Oh, yeah, that person's hanging around. All right. Should be right here. Every time. Bad. I marked it. All right, we're back here again. All right. This is the path I'm used to taking. Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is the path I'm used to taking. So I at least sort of have some vague memory of this area. So it's not very strong, but because that, yeah, that cross crosses that. That's a dead end. The there should be, yeah, this is the path I was looking for when uh, I got stuck. That's what I mean. It's like so dark. It's so easy to get turned around and stuck. How's that? Dude just hanging up there? <laughs> Don't like that sound. But at least like the deer makes a quite the noticeable sound as you're coming up on it. It feels like it's getting worse every time. I feel the Wendigo, though. Can sneak at you. Like, I've had it like just appear with no like indication that it was coming to eat me. Alright, we just follow the path. And hope that he doesn't show up. Alright, there's candles in here. Let's go light them for fun. I just don't trust the candle protection because uh, when I've gotten four out of five, the Wendigo ignored my candle lighting and just straight up murdered me. I've marked the fourth one. I'm already sick of Oh it. shit! It's like I've lost my mind. I was not expecting him to come through there. This is where knowing your path is very important. Because you can outrun them. And if you f find a candle, you can light it and end the chase. Oh, fuck me. Oh, cool. He despawned. I'll find that last one, right? I'm on four out of five, right?
See, it sounds like there's always a deer right here, but there is not. Let's take the path we know. Run by this nerd. Oh shit, 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 shit. Ah. Maneuver through trees, that doesn't do anything. He goes through the trees. All right. Like, I've tried to run around where that, uh, in the beginning where that, uh, grave is. But I think the grave is the thing making the sound. So, uh... It keeps throwing me off. Alright, here. There's gotta be a one around here. The fuck? Let's try to look around here for a second. Okay, I can't go through there. Cause like I found four out of five. Okay, we know that's the temple. We come out here. We find her. Our option is to go that way, or we can go this way. That way it lead. What does this lead? This leads to a dead end. It loops around. Okay. So if we head this way, it leads to a knocking thing. The knocking mausoleum. The bridge is a trap. Don't go there. Cause yeah, uh, there's some cool little events like the phone ringing and stuff. But if you try to go to those, every time I did, uh, the when to go would be summoned and just kill me. I found some crap. It was something bad. I marked it. So it was not worth the uh, hassle to go. Okay, that's the house. We don't want to go there. Come back here. Yeah, because that little area is like a little Y section. It's easy to get uh, lose this path. Hello? Okay. Maybe once we hit two uh, torches, that will go into the area of two torches. The second phenomenon. That's what summons the one to go. A lot of deer here. Something strange is happening. Yeah, the phone ringing right there. That's a filthy lie. Don't touch it. I've been killed by that before. Pressing. I was like, come on, I'm pressing it. It feels like it's getting worse every time. I feel bad already. The third I one is done. It's all right. I didn't know where the hell the path was, so. Made sense. One hour later. Oh, fuck me. Light. That's a cool feature. That's cool. I guess. One more try. One more try and I'm fucking done. Am I still alive? I thought I was dead. I wish I was. Alright. Yeah, it's like this circular fucking thing. You head over here. Take this path. Mm. 
I think that place doesn't fucking exist anymore. I swear that place does not fucking exist anymore. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Because I know the area I need to go to. It has that stupid fucking crow that gets me every damn time I walk by it. But now it's like just gone. It doesn't exist on the map anymore, I guess. It's just hidden in the mist. This fucking thing. Cool. All right. Here we go. I don't understand what's going on here. I found some crap. It was something bad. I marked it. All right. Head down this way, guys. This game can die in a slow roasting fire. I swear to God. <laughs> I just found the fucking area I've been searching for. That somehow I did I not run by any of this with my multiple runs. Somehow I did not find this way. Some magical way, some magical barrier prevented me from going through this particular area. This should be the starting area. And that's what I mean. Like, I swear the start, the map rotates or something. Because this was not here. It's like you run up straight and you hit this house. This is the place I was looking for. The map must shift or something. That's yeah, the only way I can logically make sense of this. That is the only way this will make sense to my brain. That somehow the map moves. All right, got that one. That's a dead end. It feels like it's getting worse every time. I feel bad already. The I can't. One is I already done. came to this area. Where do I go? Fine, it's whatever. We'll go back. We'll go back whatever way you want me to go. As long as I'm making some sort of progress, I don't care anymore. All right. Temple should be that way. We don't need to go through there yet. But yeah, I swear I ran through that area so many times. How did I not go to that? one area. The stupid, uh, area I've been searching for. I've marked the fourth one. I'm already I refuse to believe it. It's like I've lost my mind. Okay, that's the Y spot. Go away. Blow away, windbag. Fuck you, game. I win. Ha ha. We're done. Okay. I've marked five. I'm going to try to get out of here. Hopefully, I'll find a way out. That sound good. Am I even... Is this still in the map? Or is this just a random open area? Uh, there's candles over here. So it must have just been a random opening.
That was not me dying, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you. like the intro thing of when we're sitting at the desk like at the menu screen Forest God thank you for playing the game hope you enjoyed it next chapter will be soon all right I'm gonna leave it on this screen and get a quick drink all right Forced God, we completed chapter one. It was very, very frustrating. Let me start off and say, I do really like this game. I think the story is very interesting. I like this weird anomalous activity kind of stuff going on. I love the weird like deer being sucked in by like weird tentacle goo thing. I love the look of it. I love the black and white and gray and stuff like that style of it. I do like the map. It is creepy. They did a really good job on that. Visually, story, voice acting, everything is awesome. I really like it. And that's why I've powered through to beat this chapter. No matter how frustrated I got, no matter how many times I wanted to quit, I even looked up, like, try to see if anyone else beat it. I tried to... Look to see if uh, changing my settings a little bit. Because I, like I said, I had everything on medium because everything higher was sitting in my PC to space. So uh, I even tried doing that. And I never do that on get, on horror games. Like uh, I don't adjust the brightness. I don't, uh, I only change the set. Like I dumb down the settings for my uh, performance, but I never up them to give me an advantage. So this is the first game I've ever done that. And it did not help me at all. It may look a little prettier. And I had noticed a little bit of a stutter here and there, but not so much. But that didn't really do anything. I think it did help a little bit because everything looked a little bit more clearer and prettier on some spots. But I don't think it gave me any, any advantage. But I did even do that to try to make it some kind of thing uh, happen so I could beat this thing. I was that driven to beat this and like uh when i was like recording for other games i wanted to just get back into this and beat this damn chapter <laughs> but so like yeah looks great i love the voice acting story is very interesting to me i like the map the map was cool i just kept getting disoriented so many times and i i out the map actually move shift or anything like that but for some reason my brain could not wrap myself wrap itself around this map like i would walk in and magically like that like i say in that one weird tunnel area that's like off to the side it's just fucking gone i ran around the map for all five and just could not find anything i just keep going down the same paths over and over and over again because i could not see where the other paths were and once you get four out five i don't want to die and redo everything again. So that was probably my own little uh, flaw with that. So probably not the game at all. It was just me, the way I was playing it. But it was so frustrating to not be able to find one particular path I know exists. And I'm running around and somehow I keep going in a circle over and over and over again. <laughs> because I can't see where the other paths are. Uh... I truly think the candles are useless. Uh, I don't think they're helpful. Uh, I think most of the time when I've lit them, I didn't need to light them. Uh, I feel like they are just a 
a trap. Like, I love finding lore in games. I love doing little extra stuff. I love finding little extra Easter eggs and everything. But after having to redo this over and over and over and over again, my interest to do that was dead. <laughs> like the doing the exploring of the house in the way beginning, that was just a fun thing. Like, uh, I was like, okay, well, we haven't found anything yet. We're not at like four out five. So let's explore this house. The phone, uh, my first, my other video of this, uh, the phone, every time I went to go answer it, I would die because the Wendigo would just spawn and kill me. It, uh, there's a bridge at the Brit end of the bridge. It's in my other video. Uh, there is a picture of like, uh, I think two dudes that look like a religious kind of figures kind of thing. Uh, by the time I started running back on a bridge, the Wendigo spawned and I died. So I don't know if the extras are purposefully there to kill you, but I, I feel like they are the house though. I don't think was so much there. I, I never got trapped in there and got killed in there. It was easy to maneuver back out. So I think I don't, I honestly don't think the map was badly designed. I think I just could not navigate or see my way to find the paths that I was trying to find. So like I, I knew that there was a deer on that one area with a stupid loud crow, but I just could not find it. So, so I think like the, the like, I don't want not at all. I guess critiques is I do feel like the candles are worthless. I completed that run without lighting one candle. If I lit the candles, I can't remember if I did, but if I lit the candles, it was purely for my own satisfaction of doing it. Like, Oh fuck it. Let's just light it for fun. Cause I know there was a few, one a couple of my runs. I don't know if I kept all my runs on this uh, particular recording session uh, in here or not. I probably cut a lot of them or I may have only showed you the last one where I'm just like, F it. <laughs> Uh, this is my last run. I last try I'm doing it. Uh, but every time I've lit the candles, like sometimes it wouldn't kill the, uh, stop him from chasing me. Other times I'd be in the process of lighting the candle and I would die. So I truly feel the candles are not helpful or do anything that really benefits me because as long as you've got a good map memory and know your surroundings, which after running certain areas, usually I could remember where I was going. I just couldn't, of course, branch off to find the other places I was trying to find. Uh, if you have a good sense of your map and direction, you can just outrun him. And you don't need to use the light, the candles, and you don't need to trick yourself into the... <laughs> dead. Same thing with the walkie-talkie chatter. Uh, you can't light candles with that. So if you, I have had him spawn when I was on the walkie talkie, uh, not, uh, not in this run, but I have had it happen on one of my other runs. I don't know sure if I recorded that one or not, or I did do like a in between recording session. Where I was trying to beat the game and I scrapped all that cause I made no progress. So I have sat down and played this three times so far to beat this. Uh, so I do feel like the candles are worthless. You can just outrun them. They're only appear list to be one danger in the game, and that's the Wendigo. So uh, the only other time I got killed, I could have swore I got killed by that weird, like tall, lanky guy that ran at me out of the house in one of the set, one of my runs, runs, which I think I kept in here. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why I'm all keeping because <laughs> I did so many runs. Uh, I could swear I got killed by him, but. I think the one goes the only true danger in this game. Uh, let's I'm going to talk about before I got jaded to everything. Uh, the ambience is really good. It really my first runs of the game during my first video and stuff like that really induced cheer, che cheers, cheers. It really induced chills. I really liked it. It made me feel creeped out. It made me paranoid in my surroundings. I didn't know what was coming at me. The jump scares were super effective. That fucking crow. <laughs> I hate that crow. But yeah, all those things did really well. And the game gave me really good chills. But a personal thing for me, if I have to redo the same task 500 times, mentally I check out 
and really nothing starts to really phase me because now I'm just focused. I'm jaded to everything and my goal is just to complete the objective. So jump scares will still get me, but I don't really consider jump scares as like a complete like terror tool because that's a reaction that you're going to have to a stimulus. So if something jumps out at me, I am going to react. So the game did have jump scares, but the game also did really well with the ambience and atmosphere before I got, uh, I checked out and just wanted to complete the game and I was focused. So super crow still got me though. So overall force God really loved it. Looks awesome. Love the setting. Love, love the story. Interested in the story. Voice acting was cool. Uh, the like look of it was awesome. Uh, gameplay. I think if you don't get stuck trying to beat it for like three sessions, I probably spent probably uh what uh four probably going on four to five hours trying to beat this four to five hours before I thought about like exploring more and trying to find it like because I'd always get four out of five. And I could not find a last fucking deer or like I couldn't find areas where I knew there was a deer. So that was my fault. I feel so. So I feel like if you don't get stuck in that loop, uh, it could probably keep the ambience and cheer chills going on longer. Uh, I, uh, little critique is the candles are worthless. I truly believe that the Wendigo can spawn wherever it feels like I've had it spawn on top of me i've had it spawn two steps away from me uh you saw maybe where i was just exploring i've not lit one torch and it just popped and got me like it just came out of nowhere there was no boom 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 it was just boop it just got me so wendigo plays by its own rules so <laughs> same thing with like lighting the candles like uh my first video when I got four out of five, I lit the candles to stop the wind to go and it stopped the chase because the candles stopped the chase at current active chase. I took two steps away and it respawned and got me. So that's another reason why I feel the candles are not helpful. So really good game. Really liked it. It frustrated me to hell. It made me rage, but I am satisfied that I beat it. I love the little cutscene at the end. It looked really cool. So I totally look forward to the next chapter. I just hope the next chapter does not fill me with so much rage. <laughs> but most certainly, uh, as I'm playing this, I don't think it's released yet. Let me double check. Nope, it is still an early access and planned to release in August 2024. So we still have a couple more days. So we'll see what happens. Uh, most certainly. Uh, I do recommend this game if you like a challenge. If you were looking for a more casual horror experience or you're just really good with map, 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 map navigation, then it might be, might be your thing. But the, to me, this is more of a challenge. It's not your more casual like point A to point B kind of horror game or walking simulator horror games because uh, it was quite the challenge to get it. And if I watched four or five other people play this and not find the ending and not find the last deer, then it is a challenging game. <laughs> I feel like, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was cool. And I look forward to the rest of it. And I do thank the devs for reaching out and, uh, let me play it. Cause it was a, it is a really cool game. I may have raged, I, I may have wanted to just rage quit so many times, but I, I always came back with a drive to wanting to see that ending. And even though I said like one more time, I don't know how many times I've kept it in here, but I kept saying that also one more time, one more time. And every time I would die and I'd be so rage filled. I just want to flip my desk and walk off and play something chill, but I didn't. And it kept me wanting to play. So the, to me, that means this game was worth worth it and it was cool enough for me to want to continue to try to find that ending so but yes if you want to give this game a shot yourself when it releases link will be down below if you made it this far why not like comment subscribe do whatever your brain meat desires
Thank you for wasting some time, and I will catch you later.